Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the first uh, tutorial of uh, medical image analysis course. In this tutorial, we will be showing you some basic operations that you can do in MATLAB by writing a where by writing a few lines of code. Our main objective is uh, not to teach you all the commands, but to encourage you to uh, explore the image processing toolbox of MATLAB yourself. And I hope this tutorial will help you in that. Okay, so. Let's start. So suppose I have an image, this image, chest x or JPEG. Okay, and I want to read this image in MATLAB. So the command for this uh, for reading an image is I am read. So when you do this, it will the image will be stored as a matrix in the variable I0, right? And if you want to know about the size of image you have to just write this command size of i0 i0 and it will give you the uh, rows and columns of i0 for example when i run this code you can see it reads the image and the size of image is 1858 by 2090 almost 2000 by 2000 okay So this is the first thing or the zeroth thing. Uh, now you can do various um, operations on this image. For example, you can resize it. So as we saw, the original image is almost thousand by thousand. Suppose I resize it to a very small dimension, ten by ten. Okay, so what do you expect will happen to the image? Yeah, it will be blurred out and all the details will be lost. So for resizing, the command is I am resize and uh, this is the, the original image you already have, I not. And this is the size of the output image that you want, right? It should be 10 by 10. So when you run this, command you get the resized image as you can see the size of image is 10 by 10 and it is very blurred as we expected okay don't worry about the commands this code will be provided to you uh, also this is just one line, right? One command. So don't worry about it. You don't have to write a code. It is just one command. Okay. So other than resizing, you can uh, crop an image. So for cropping, the command is I am crop, right? And when we crop an image, we basically select a rectangle, right? And uh, the dimension of the rectangle is specified here. Okay. So when you run this command, you can extract a particular section of image. This is the cropped image. This is the original image. Okay. So. can also uh, take transpose of the image there is no special command simply because uh, image is a matrix so you can simply take transpose of the matrix right if i not is the original matrix then i not prime represents its transpose right so when you run this you see the image gets transposed so the rows and col columns are interchanged so this is transpose okay now we show some uh, rigid transformations to you uh, rigid transformation means the sh the shape of the image will not be distorted right the first rigid transformation is translation suppose i have an image 
the chest x-ray image and I want to translate it okay so this is the translation in x direction 150 this is translation in y direction 250 and then uh, the command is il translate okay so when you run this command your image gets translated by the amount that you specified you see this is the original image and this is the translated image 150 in the x direction and 250 in the y direction so other than that you can also use you can also rotate the image so just like I am translate we have I am rotate also you can specify the angle by which you want to rotate the image for example here it is 35 35 degree the angle of rotation and here by linear represents interpolation method that will be used uh, <coughs> to determine the pixel intensity in the rotated image right so when we run this we get this so you can see we have a rotated image so in, in a translation as well as rotation the shape is not distorted but you can also distort the image how by using uh, by introducing shear deformations in the uh, in the image for that you can use this affine transformation mm, and this will introduce shear in your image right shear transformation so here you define uh, the transform this t form represents the transformation the information about the horizontal and vertical shear and then you apply this using this command and here you can see the shared image okay so these are the basic operations now we go to the next section uh, it is some image enhancement operations so the first uh, image enhancement operation is uh, is a uh, brightness so suppose you have an image and you want to increase its brightness so what can you do so the idea is to just simply add a constant uh, simply add a constant uh, to the original image so for example the original image is i0 and to brighten it i am adding 100 to all the pixel values i0 plus 100 okay similarly if i want to like decrease the intensity of the image I have to just subtract it so when I run this command I get the following brightened image original image okay the next operation is contrast so you can control the contrast of an image by using various algorithms here I am showing just three of them <coughs> others are also available in MATLAB so these three algorithms are IM adjust and histogram equalization and adaptive histogram equalization so it is IM adjust his TQ and adapt his TQ so you have to supply the initial image I0 and just run this function IM adjust it will give you the uh, it will like uh, give you the image with more contrast right so when you run this uh, command when you run these commands you get the following so here the contrast is improved by uh, three algorithms I am adjust histogram equalization and adaptive histogram equalization. Right? This is the original one. And these are the images with more contrast. So, other than contrast, you can uh, also 
sharpen an image with the help of command I am sharpen. So So if we run this command I am sharpen you will see that this is the original image and this is the sharpened image okay so clearly sharpened image is better so uh, are, these are some of the image enhancement operations that you can do in MATLAB you can control the contrast, you can sharpen an image, you can increase the brightness, decrease the brightness, etc. Yeah. Now we come to the third part, some special filtering operations. So the first operation is blurring. So you can blur an image by using uh, multiple options available in MATLAB. We are showing you uh, blurring with three methods. Uh, these methods are Gaussian filter, box filter and median filter. So the parameter in uh, Gaussian filter is the standard deviation. So you can control the amount of blur by uh, playing with this parameter. In box filter and median filter you can specify the filter size. Right? Okay. So you can go to the MATLAB website and explore more about these filters. So for these settings, if I uh, uh, apply these filters on the I0, I will get the following. Okay, so I get the following, you can see. This is original image. This is Gaussian bearing and bearing due to box filter and Medium filter. See here if I change it from 100 to 25, the blurring will decrease in the here. You see, blurring is decreased. Okay, so this is about blurring. Another very important uh, operation is edge detection. Again, you can use multiple filters for this. But I am showing you only two uh, two filtering operations. First is based on Kani algorithm. Second is based on Pruitt uh, Pruitt filter, not algorithm filter. First is Kani filter. Second is Pruitt filter. So there are other filters also that you can test out so if i uh, like try to find the edge of an image using these two uh, filters the results we will get the following result so this is an image it has a lot of uh, horizontal and vertical edges so with the two filters we get the following output okay clearly here the can even looks better so the filters that we discussed earlier for example the median filter etc they can be used for noise removal also so here is an example i take an uh, image and add some noise to it and then i will apply a median filter to remove that noise. So, for example, here is the original image, an image with some black dots, as you can see. And these are the noise that I have added. But when I uh, give this noisy image to median filter, right? it leads to this image you can see these uh, uh, the noise is gone right so median filter can be used for noise removal as well so these are some of the examples and you can try many more things so
so this is just to motivate you to uh, explore the image processing toolbox of MATLAB yourself and uh, and I hope that uh, the things which I have shown will uh, make you like uh, feel motivated for that okay thank you